Hello and welcome to this guide to installing FreeDOS 1.1 on an Apple Mac running VMware Fusion version 7. So what is FreeDOS? Well FreeDOS is basically a free MS-DOS compatible operating system. So if you want to use old programs such as WordStar, WordPerfect or even play old DOS games then you may want to install this or if you're just curious to see what computers were like in the early 90s then this will also satisfy your, your curiosity so the first thing we need to do is go to the FreeDOS website which is simply www.freedos.org then we click on download FreeDOS And the file we want to choose is this file here, FreeDOS 1.1 base. Uh, there may be a new version by the time you, you view this, so if there is, then click on that. So we click on that, which is an ISO file, and we let that download. And then the next thing we do is we come into VMware, and we click on Add New. And I want to install this from a disk or an image. So I click on continue. And now I can click on... It will always have selected the last disk image that I used. So I want to click on use another disk or image. And in my downloads folder, you'll see I've got the fd11src.iso. So I can click on open and then click on continue and I'm going to choose MS-DOS and click continue again and it will tell me MS-DOS capacity 2 gigabytes for the hard drive 16 megabytes and I can click on finish and then it will ask me where I want to save this so I'm going to say uh, free DOS demo and then click on save so now the first thing we need to do is create is install to hard drive so I press enter and it will say you haven't got a hard drive so now I press F to run FDisk do I want to use large disk FAT32 support? Yes. Do I want to... So now I choose one to create a DOS partition. And we press one again to create a primary DOS partition. And then we just press enter for yes. And then I press escape. So now I have to press two to set active partition and press 1 to choose that one and now we press escape and escape again and then the system will restart so I press any key when ready and then we get this error so what we have to do is we have to tell um, VMware that we want to boot this virtual machine from the CD-ROM because we've used an ISO file, basically the virtual machine thinks it has a CD-ROM drive installed. So for that we go into settings, then we go into startup disk, then we go into CD, DVD and click on restart. So we say restart. And now we want to install to hard disk. And we press 1. I didn't even know there wasn't a prompt there. You do actually have to press 1. It was a little confusing that when I first did it. Now I'm in the UK. So my keyboard choice isn't shown here. So I go down to more choices. And I type in 20. And then press enter. 
and then it'll say, I need to format my hard drive, so I say yes, and then I have to type in yes. So now I want to continue with FreeDOS installation. I want to start the installation of FreeDOS 1.1 Final, and then you hit the usual little stuff, so we just press enter, enter to get rid of that, and enter again, and yes. And then for these, we just accept done, and say yes, and we just accept the default for that, so I just press enter. And then it'll start installing the software itself. The screen does seem to freeze at this point, but it is actually doing something in the background, even though it doesn't actually say it on screen. So now, it will say, it'll ask us to insert this one of the next series. Well, it's all on this ISO file, so we can just press enter. And then we just press enter again. Yes. And we just press enter it and continue. And it will go through the final stages of the install procedure. And then from what I've seen on YouTube, you press 1 here. And now we can say, boot from system hard disk. And I think we want EMM386. I remember that from when I used to use DOS. And there we are. We now have a DOS machine. But the, what we have to do now, even though we've, we've set this machine up, we need to tell it, we need to tell VMware that we, have to, we want to boot from the CD drive. Uh, from the hard drive rather than the CD, CD-ROM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the virtual machine, so I'll, I'll shut it down. Yes, power off. Power off. And then I do right-click onto settings, start up this hard drive. And now I can do restart. And then we'll choose that one here. And that will make sure that uh, FreeDOS always boots from the hard drive. So I hope you found this short tutorial useful and helpful. Uh, I will be installing more DOS programs on here. So if you like what you've seen, subscribe and I'll put some more stuff up. Okay, bye.